Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Season 1, Episode 14 of Supergirl called Truth, Justice, and the American Way. So we start off that, uh, the car is a little bit depressed at our apartment, but Nan breaks in and um, first they're, I thought they were going to fight, but he says like basically the Crotonian funeral and um, it's happening and she needs to join him for that. And gives her a period of mourning, which is two weeks, and then watch out for yourself. And so they do that, and then we find that Cat Grant hired in another assistant called Siobhan, and she's basically a kiss ass and a brat, and totally unlikable. And then Cat thinks she's missing, that, you know, Car's missing, and that's why it's been missing a lot more days, so that's why she needed another assistant uh james deflects it but with uh car and then um the kiss ass is just saying well i'm so much better and blah 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 then james um reasons with car about max uh, you know being locked up and stuff and not really having like a fair trial and stuff and car just kind of like fusses him out a little bit and then we have an ugly alien <coughs> That got that they found dead, and they already, but he was already captured. And then the guy goes after after them, and then the the guy was offed by the master jailer of the Fort Ross. And then the guy at the police station helps them out about the alien and everything else that's happening. And then we have the girl assistant is very bratty and very off-putting. And then Lucy gets pissed at James about Supergirl and the DEO. And then we find out the next car uh, target almost gets caught. But Supergirl stops him. And so the uh, guys, the person, the jailer escapes. Then Kat and James talk. And Car is icy to John. And then James fusses out Supergirl and warns her about Siobhan. Then the cop... Um, then we find out who the master jailer is. And it turns out it's the cop. And he offs his partner and takes a shot at Alex. And then we have... So then Kara talks to the prisoner. And then Alex is okay. And she she starts to freak out at the D.O. So they manage to track him down at a cabin. But no one's in the cabin. It turns out... The lair is underneath it. So the D.O. helps them out. And then Supergirl um, basically breaks out. Because she couldn't do it before. Because it was under the red sun. It would ha gives her no powers. So uh, she, um, when she gets to that sunlight. She gets the strength to do it. And she knocks out the jailer. And then she lets the prisoner go. And basically said like. Basically, he gives like a backstory where basically he knows about the stars and stuff. And it's actually an astronomy professor, but he had to do some shady stuff to to provide for his family, and no, unfortunately that was a felony, and it got sent to Port Ross. But Car's like, just keep doing you. Just go teach your class. Go teach about the stars. It's, you know, it's fine. And so, um, along with Max, she decides to let Max go, but Alex blackmails her. And then we have the assistant, again, trying to get Carr fired and just try and be overall nasty. And then James and Carr talk about Lucy, and she wants to tell her that she's Supergirl. And then um, James says, that's not a good idea right now. Then we have Carr and her Montauk, basically through the hologram, and she asks about the Miri project. And she starts to go crazy. She's like, like, literally crazy 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 and um so she's like yes again i'm going to overload and explode and then uh we see where car wants some space from john and that's in the episode so it was a really good episode i really did enjoy this one it's a plus you get to learn more about fort ross and how her mom wasn't the best uh you know she wasn't the most sympath she didn't have really any sympathy for anybody that she had to put in Fort Ross and that everything was like lo and behold it's like you go to jail you go to jail basically type deal 
And we get to see that, you know, her mom made mistakes and, you know, we get to understand more about everything that's happening and the whole um, Kryptonian funeral, that was really cool as well. I really did enjoy that. And overall, it's a really good episode. I give this an A plus if I didn't already say it. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree? Disagree? Also, any suggestions for any other shows, music, or movies? Also, let me know down below. And just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.